uh, last week's New South Wales election, a young woman ran for the Liberal Party in the seat of Balmain. Now, she didn't win, but that's not a surprise. You see, it's been a Labor and now a Greens lock for decades. Freya Leach followed up the campaign with a call to arms article in the Australian newspaper. She says the Liberals must sharpen their messaging for the digital age and take the battle of ideas to young people. She went on to say that voters are in the 21st century, but the Liberal Party isn't. Freya joins me now. Freya, thanks so much for your time. Tell me, why did you join the Liberals and why did you decide to run in the recent state election? Well, thanks for having me, Corey. I mean, why I joined the Liberal Party? It's because I think everybody in our party is united around two core values, and that's free enterprise and free individuals. And throughout my life, I've seen cases time and time again where these two core values, when implemented in good policy, really do deliver the best outcomes for our community. And so as to why I wanted to run, well, I was proud to be able to represent those values and our party in my community because ultimately I think it leads to the best results for everyone. Well, that's true. They do. Um, those two key opportunities or key values are important to all of us. But you make the point as well that the election messaging and connecting with millennials and Gen Z voters, um, you know, you've got plenty of bright young things in the Liberal Party, but you're not doing that. You're not managing mm. it. How do we encourage more people to vote uh, conservative or vote on the Freedom Party lines and actually turn up to vote and get passionate about politics? Yeah, no, it's a really interesting point. I mean, what you've seen since 2011 is a total shift in demographics. So in 2011, baby boomers made up 53% of voters in New South Wales. Today, they make up roughly the same proportion of voters as Gen Z and millennials. So that shifting demographic is something we really have to grapple with. And part of the challenge we experienced this election was that our key message of good economic management is really hard to get to resonate with young people because nobody under 35 has actually been in the workforce during a recession. So when you say, oh, don't risk labour, well, they don't actually understand what a poor economy would really look like. And so that's the challenge. So in our messaging, we need to be reframing it in a way that actually resonates with young people. So it needs to be emotive, it needs to be values-based, and we need to show them what the risks would look like rather than just telling them not to risk labour. 